Hi, and welcome to Supermicro Tech Talks. Today I have with us Shanti Adlori, our Director of Product Management for Supermicro's Blade Server and Solutions. How are you doing today, Shanti? Thank you, Heather. I'm doing great, and thanks for inviting me to your Tech Talk. Absolutely. So what do you have to show us today? I'm very excited to showcase our AMD Super Blade servers today. We have three blades, and they are SAS, SATA, and GPU optimized. So what's new with these blades, Shanti? Heather, as you know, so Supermicro is the number one fastest growing IT infrastructure company. And then we are the top five largest server system provider according to IDC. So our blades support AMD third gen Epix processor, which is drop-in compatible. And we have added support for the AIM card to support front IO. And for e this is for easier serviceability and which is OCP 3.0 compliant. So what we have done is we have extended the OCP 3.0 spec to support wide variety of networking options. So our customers have a choice of you know, um, using two to four 25 gig switches or pass through switches. So in this ATU enclosure, we offer 20 hot pluggable nodes. So that means we offer about 280 cores. And, and also we have the option with the GPU blades, we support up to 40 GPUs. So that's the highest density that we offer in our ATU enclosure. And it's the highest performing. That means we offer eight DIMMs with, uh, supporting up to two terabytes DDR4. And we also support PCI Gen 4. That means 128 lanes of PCI Gen 4 for faster throughput. And then it's easy to manage. So we have one to two CMA modules for remote management. And this is based on standard risk APIs. And we also support four MD NVMe drives, so which is like the, the U.2 format and also the M.2 format. And what we are offering is a resource saving architecture with this A2 enclosure. That means you can leverage this chassis and power, power, and, uh, power, power supplies and cooling fans for later usage. And what we are offering is a dual socket feature set in a single CPU platform. So Shanti, what are the use cases where this blade would be applicable? Heather, these blades support multiple workloads in this A2 form factor, and you can mix and match these blades. The workloads that we support are VDI virtualization, HPC customers can leverage these blades, AIML, deep learning, and cloud. So how does it help for HPC workload, Shanti? So for HPC customers, we offer the breakthrough performance of AMD Milan processor, and the massive I.O. cluster connectivity and the massive I.O. bandwidth for NVMe drives is provided by the 128 lanes of PCI Gen 4. And the AMD Super Blades support 200 gig infinity band connectivity, which enables extreme low latencies and high data throughput needed for the HPC workloads. So our HPC customers can benefit up to 30% performance gain by upgrading from ROM to Milan processor. And all these features are packed into our Blade server that supports design simulation and HPC workloads. So Shanti, how does this AMD Blade help VDI and virtualization customers? So as you know, Heather, uh, with, with this pandemic, many companies are offering employees to work from home. To support remote first culture, we offer AMD-based Super Blade. So we are, these Super Blades have single socket. What it means is it's lower licensing cost. And it's a high core count. That means we can support many number of users. And then with a large memory capacity, we can have many number of VMs. And we support up to two terabytes of memory for the VMs. And then having four 25 gig switches, there's plenty of throughput for network bandwidth. And having a large L3 cache, we have this better performance for the larger VMs. So with, with these blades, we are packing the power required for the, to enable VDI and virtualization on, on, on these super blades. So Shanti, another hot topic is cloud. How do cloud customers benefit from these blades? So as you know, cloud customers are embarking on their cloud journey. And what these customers care about is better performance at lowest cost. So lots of compute power is required to power the VMs in a hybrid and private cloud environments while scaling users. So what we offer is high core count, high memory bandwidth at lowest cost and massive IO for scale out type of environments. 
So we offer this dense platform for cloud customers so that they can embark on their cloud journey. We hear a lot about AI, ML, and deep learning. Can you tell us how this blade addresses this market? Definitely. So this particular blade, what we have is, we have packed this um, blade with um, support for two GPUs, single width GPUs, or one double width GPU. So what we can offer is the highest density of GPUs in this A2 form factor. As I mentioned earlier, we can support up to 40 GPUs. And this can be used for inferencing. And, um, and then also, machine learning applications continue to require larger and larger data sets. That what it means is that with the PCI Gen 4, it helps in reducing the compute time. And we also offer the data scientists to run their favorite frameworks like PyTorch or TensorFlow on this GPU optimized blade server. Shanti, we've covered a lot of hot topics today. What would you like our viewers to walk away with? So Heather, to summarize, our customers can leverage our AMD-based, super-based platform for their digital transformation journey, or if they have any infrastructure modernization initiatives, they can leverage our blades. By using these blades, they can deliver better products faster, they can build tomorrow's workplace for remote first workers, and they can approach the cloud with confidence, and they can build their data-driven enterprise with AI everywhere. So in summary, what we offer is the highest density and highest power efficient blade at the lowest cost. And what customers can expect is lower their capex and opex while improving the total cost of ownership. Thank you so much, Shanti, for joining us. And thank you to you all for joining us for a Supermicro Tech Talk. Thank you.